Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani. And I'm Sharon Abramson. And we're here at One If By Land, Two If By Sea, one of New York City's most romantic restaurants set in a beautiful carriage house. Tucked away in the West Village, the chef hit the mark with his innovative American cuisine. So let's go behind the burner and have a very special holiday meal. We're here with executive chef Craig Hobson at One If By Land, Two If By Sea. Craig, I have a challenge for you today. What's this? The challenge is that this is the first time I've ever made wood pigeon. Uh -huh. So I'm looking for you to you know, give me the tips, tricks, and techniques. And the other is the first time I've ever worn an off-white shirt in the kitchen. So you well, are up for a you might be Well, you might be out of luck. <laughs> if I get it dirty, it's just Dirty, dirty pomegranates. <laughs> so let's get started. Well, we're uh, highlighting wild Scottish pigeon today. Mm -hmm. This guy is wild, caught in Scotland. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a pistachio aioli, like a mayonnaise and a pomegranate vinaigrette. When you make aioli, and you know people have heard that word many times, what's an aioli first? Aioli is essentially a mayonnaise, but it normally is associated with garlic. Uh, I like to call it aioli because it's a little bit more fancy. It's pigeon time. So I, I dried off the excess blood with paper towel. I removed any excess blood and, and, and gizzards from the cavity. And because when it cooks, that blood will dry up in a really, really, really strong, unpleasant taste. So we now have a beautiful D'Artagnan wood pigeon that is ready to be cooked. Yes, it is. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on it, like this. Just enough to give it a nice coat. And then salt. Generous coat of salt on all sides. And we'll even go on the inside. You're being very with generous with that salt. Yes. Now, on our grill. So let's leave this cooking on a low, low flame. I'm going to make sure every side is golden brown and beautiful and nice and crisp. Now we're going to make the aioli. Main ingredient, pistachio oil. This one is crushed from pistachio nuts. Really, really good flavor. Okay, egg yolks, cherry vinegar, salt, grapeseed oil. Going to go in there nice and slow drizzle. Okay, and there we have it. Nice, thick aioli. It's a great creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. Going to give it some creaminess, but also a lot, a lot of flavor. Really contrasting flavor. Next, pomegranate vinaigrette. Pomegranate juice, mm -hmm. buy this in the supermarket. And be fear for your oh. life when you're pouring it so you don't get it all over your clothes. Mm -hmm. Be careful. We're going on the stove. And what are you looking for from here? Just for So to what reduce? we're going to do, we're going to go to a hard boil and we're going to reduce that down. This is two cups of liquid. We're going to go down a half a cup. Okay, here we are, about half a cup left. That's, that's one quarter of what we started with. I took this off the stove. Mm -hmm. This is Vergeau, the juice of unripened grapes. So I like this because it's going to not going to clash too much, but it's still going to give that bite. And again, more grapeseed oil. Why? Neutral flavor. There you go. All right. Grapeseed oil is great because you want to use it in anything where you need oil to sort of bind mm -hmm. the dish, the sauce, whatever It's going to it give is. it that, that, that creaminess and that emulsification that oil gives it. There's a vinaigrette. Now the fun part. So people get completely confused by pomegranate. They don't know what to do with it. We're going to cut it straight in half. And there we go. That's all those great little seeds. That's the part we're going to eat. Now, what I like to do... Staying away. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. And a pomegranate. A meat mallet. A meat mallet. Yes. Hold it. You're kidding me. Bash it. See all those seeds <laughs> coming out? There's your pomegranate seeds. Pigeon is ready. So we've got... Pigeon, we've got partridge. It's a very special Thanksgiving today. It is. So you taste the, um, the richness of the pigeon, mm -hmm. but also the bite of that pomegranate. It gives a little, and the creaminess of the, of the pistachio. You really taste all the layering of the flavors. It's, it's amazing. I've never, yum. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Mm. So you see how this one is, the, the meat is, is very gamey, but it's also white meat and uh, foie gras kind of pairs well with all the earthy flavors. So Chef Hobson, thank you so much thank for you. a delectable yes, Thanksgiving thank family meal. Great, thank you. Behind the Burner members can enjoy this exclusive opportunity to purchase Chef Hobson's partridge and pigeon and other fine meats from D'Artagnan. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire. Mm -hmm.